Hello, my name's Graham Allen. I'm here with Gunmark TV looking at a classic old air pistol from the 1970s and 80s. Um, this is the BSA Scorpion spring gun. Um, it's a, a real handful of a pistol. Um, a lot of people say it's a cut down BSA Meteor. It's, it's very similar with the action, uh, brake barrel, um, spring piston action. Um, the, the components aren't actually um, sort of uh, transferable. Um, but the basic idea is a, a spring piston brake barrel, barrel air gun. Um, to make cocking a little bit easier, it's got an 8-inch 18, 18 barrel, um, but to make it that little bit easier, you have a slip-on um, adapter here, which allows you to grip a little bit easier, give you a bit more leverage. Um, they came in the box with um, a little uh, tin of pellets, a um, target holder, and some lubricant. Um, most of the boxes um, ended up in landfill somewhere many years ago. Um, there's a removable foresight protector here. Um, if you're not going to be using the, um, the cocking aid here, it certainly makes it easier to cock the action. Um, you have a uh, fully adjustable rear sight here. You've got a, um, a notch here. You can actually turn that round if you loosen these screws. Um, it gives you a V. Um, you've got a windage adjuster on the right hand side and an elevation adjuster um, wheel underneath the, fore, uh, the rear sight. The foresight is actually um, a blade but you can actually change that um, around to make a, a, a round bead or a, or a, a, um, a square post. Um, there's a, um, an automatic safety catch on the left hand side of the ergonomic grip that engages as soon as you cock the action. Um, you can pick these up uh, from about sort of 20 sort of pounds up to 200 pounds, depending on the condition. Um, you might pick up one without a box for, you know, not a lot of money at all. Could be covered in surface rust. Um, it might work, it might not. Or you can pay top dollar for one uh, in a box with all the accessories. Um, if you can get hold of one, they are a lovely pistol to shoot. Um, like I said, they're a bit of a handful, um, but you can actually fit a, a scope. Um, just by removing uh, this screw here and taking the rear sight off. You've got dovetails along here for um, a small pistol scope or a red dot. Um, the trigger is adjustable. Um, we're going to fire an Allen key up into the trigger guard here. Um, and the triggers can be set very light, actually. Um, a little bit too light if you're uh, a bit over enthusiastic with the Allen key. Um, like I said, the um, action is just a conventional spring piston so I'll just slip on the cocking aid like I said it's a bit of a handful direct loading of the pellet into the barrel then the safety catch you have to click off with your thumb I'll just fire this one off um, down range safely yeah fair bit of recoil but you've got Probably about five foot pounds of uh, energy from one of these in 2.2. Uh, not quite so much in a 177, but they are great fun to shoot. And if you can get hold of one from your local gun shop, uh, sometimes you see them online on some of the uh, air gun uh, selling sites. Um, yeah, if you can get hold of one, you'll really enjoy shooting it. Uh, so that's the BSA Scorpion Air Pistol, first made in 1972, production ended in 1994. So there's still plenty of these around. Um, so if you can get hold of one, you'll certainly enjoy, enjoy shooting it.